Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to... My microphone's a bit low there. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we have discovered the remains of the Russian fleet uh, after they got completely wrecked in the last episode. So this will be a good opportunity to finish them off. I'm assuming they are trying to get back for repairs or something. Mostly destroyers, but we do have a pair of battleships. We're a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, apologies for the grinding <laughs> noise in the background. Not much you can do about that. That is very tight formation. <laughs> Hopefully we can spot this enemy quickly. Not quite sure where they are. There, there we go. Use the AI locating trick. If you don't know what that is, um, if you if you can't see the enemy, the, but the AI knows where it is. So if you quickly put the ships on AI control, they will adjust their heading. Basically to intercept the enemy ship and then if you turn it off again then uh, it, will, it will effectively tell you where they are yeah they are turning and running away <laughs> don't blame them Launching a couple torpedoes their way. Again, I never really expect much of my own torpedoes, apart from to hit my own ships. But um, it can maybe cause them a little bit of distress before the battleships are able to get up into combat range. No, they're getting pretty close now. What's wrong with the Ume? She has fuel. It was a problem in uh, the very first version of the beta that would cause all sorts of problems with the divisions, but that has apparently been fixed. Maybe not completely. Hello, Millie. wouldn't quite say that they're scattering, but it's not far off. Whee! <laughs> there we go. Oops. Love a 
Bocklon cruiser. Well, I hope you enjoyed the um, <laughs> the <laughs> flash fire ASMR <laughs> there. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Brutal. That's what you get when you put that many four-inch guns on one of those light cruiser hulls, and you're using. 1910 technology, but you're still using ballastite of all things, which is um, not not exactly the best. Down, oh really? The Dimitri went down. How? Must have been really heavily damaged. There goes the Aurora. Probably terminal. Ah, oh, cheeky destroy it. Try and get some more guns on the problem. Oh, and some torpedoes. Fun. Oh, no. Sunk. <laughs> oh, that's some good long range shooting by the Yamashiro there.
spotted something else. Yeah, we spotted another another destroyer. Okay. And down she goes. Yeah, to a twelve inch gun. <laughs> Yamashiro again, that's a very long range shot. Ten kilometers. It's not stupidly long range, but it is for it is for this era. Ah that's a bug. <laughs> now that is a bug I am aware of. Um because a member of my Discord community mentioned it. And if you're not on my Discord uh, do join the Discord. We've we've got dedicated, um, dedicated channels for all things dreadnoughts. That is a problem. So I'm going to report that. Uh, you can just press Control J to send a report. So turrets locked in place. A and B turret. Not rotate X and Y seem fine. Uh, even if you know that an issue has has already been reported, it is enormously helpful for developers to um, have multiple reports. Looks like the four inch guns aren't moving either. Just the X and in fact I think it's just the X turret. Oh not even X. It's just Y. Just Y. Which is a 360 turret on these. Everything else, including the casements, is broken. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well. I was going to do a bunch of episodes today. I'm recording this on Wednesday, the 19th of October, um, on update three. But uh, that bug probably means that I'm only going to do the one today and I'll do the rest tomorrow. So. But it's good to see that that, that bug is, is affecting my game. So, um, yeah, bye-bye. A bunch of cruisers. The Tsushima. Uh... Okay, some more stragglers by the looks of it. To the north. Let's go. It is a good looking uh, early dreadnought. I should have a look at um, what the Japanese actually had in this era. Let's see. So there was the Kawachi that were, f yeah, it would be contemporary with the Kawachi, first built in 1909, and they were in commission from 1912 to 1923. They were the first, first dreadnoughts for Japan. Oh, look at that. X is, uh, uh what? Yeah, X is stuck in place for some reason. Light cruiser is going to sink. And now A is stuck in place. I wonder what's causing that. Uh, the devs did say in update 3 that they had 
fix the bug where the turrets wouldn't rotate when the ship was turning. It's been a long-standing issue. Uh, but they seem to have introduced another bug. Uh, it's just kind of the way it goes with uh, making software. Anyway, back to the Kawachi. They could do 21 knots. So these are slightly faster. They had six dual 12 inch guns and I think they were in yeah they were in a battle hexagon placement so there was uh, one forward and one aft but rather than two centerline turrets on barbettes like this it had a pair of wing turrets here and a pair of wing turrets here uh, it was a triple funnel design armour 12 inch belt which is exactly what I've got here We've got way thicker deck though, at 6. The Kawachi's only had 1.2 inch. Gun turrets only had 11 inch. Yeah, we've got much thicker, much, much thicker armor. Yeah, what was next? Oh, then it was the Fusos. Fair enough. Which had the 14 inch guns. Which is indeed exactly what I'm planning to do. Is well, not a Fuso necessarily, but um, to build a, uh, a 14 inch Super Dreadnought is the next step. Uh, and then we also have some Destroyer versus Destroyer action. Um, West. <laughs> oh, flash firing a destroyer, that's uh that, that amuses me. That sinks pretty rapidly after that. I was going to say dead in the water, but that one's also sunk. Wow, those two inch guns are pretty nasty. Successful little month of action. No sign of surrender yet from the Russians, but it can't be far off because <laughs> they lost more ships this episode than I was expecting. Yeah, they're down to 10 ships. Only 10. They have 
no money. Like they actually have no money in the naval funds at all. Uh, they have a two point six billion dollar deficit. Yeah, they're down to ten ships. Two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and four submarines. Now, four submarine, well, one submarine is here, and two light cruisers. Uh, nothing else. They might have something on the way from <laughs> the Black Sea. Yeah, they do. So the only thing that was left, the only thing left, is like the Black Sea fleet. Yeah, here it is. Here's the battle cruiser, uh, heavy and a light. They have anything in the Baltic? Yeah. Uh, a couple of submarines and a light cruiser. Another submarine, and that's it. That is all they have. Surely, surely they're going to surrender. I'm going to take the risk and press next, and surely they're going to give up after that. That is just. That is a brutal. Bloody hell, look at these enormous battles. Going on in the background as well. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah. Just. Oof. Russia. How on earth. Are you going to. Come back from that. Anyway. Uh, let me know in the comments. How you would <laughs> come back from a loss like that. <gasps> Ouch. And uh, I'll see you again soon. For some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.